always hear about foods in moderation can be good for you, but what about wines? Joining us now to share some heart healthy white and red wines is Wine Concierge Director William Hightower. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for having me. I love being here. I, uh, so many people are, you know, they're looking to get healthier, and maybe yes. not everybody's been dry January. Right. So they still want to enjoy, but not, they want to get a little the sugar and, you know, moderation. Exactly. And so that's what we want to talk about today. There are ways to enjoy wine and be health focused and heart conscious at the same time. And so okay. the main thing that you really want to focus on is no matter what the grape variety it needs to be organic or biodynamically grown or sustainably farmed and okay. so that's one of the things that we really really want to focus on um, but the main thing that we're going to talk about today is what kind of wines that you can enjoy white and or red okay because okay, I've always heard red wines were good for the heart but white can also do the same thing tell us about that exactly so I'm going to just kind of get you guys started here so okay. this is the uh, Pinot Grigio so what you want to do let me just move this to the side okay. a little bit Thank you. the Pinot Grigio is going to be one of the white wines that has less sugar in it and so ah. When you're, See, when you're looking mm -hmm. at white wines, you want to focus on something that is a little bit more high in acid, which means it's going to be grown in a cooler climate and it's going to be less sugar content. And so this mm -hmm. type of Brunner is a really great recommendation from myself and other wine connoisseurs to just really, really focus on something that is a little bit more light and aromatic and, again, less sugar. Do you serve this chill? Yeah, definitely want to serve this chill between 40 and 60 degrees, but this needs to be really uh, definitely uh, chill to enjoy and mm. enjoy some of that acid. I love okay. that. I like that yeah, one. Okay. Good. And right. then the other one? The next one we have is going to be a Viognier from the south of France. And so this one is really going to be less in sugar as well, but it's going to have a little bit more body than a Pinot Grigio. Because some people really want something with a little bit more of body with their wines. A Pinot Grigio is extremely light. Yeah. So Viognier is going to have something that is going to have like orange blossom flavors and things of that nature. So to give you a little bit more context and complexities, but it's still Ooh. going to be yeah. less mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. so, it seems like, like less sugar is the key. Is the key. Less sugar for the white wines is going to be the key and so when you are shopping for white wines it's going to be really important to look at something that's grown in a cooler climate because it's going to give you higher acid and less sugar okay yep. okay, okay. Good to know. well we got another bottle over there we got to we do. So, I'll kill this one. so the chardonnay is a really it's the queen grape variety because it's planted all over the world but the, the key is where are you getting the chardonnay from so this is from the chablis region of burgundy france oh. and again the chardonnays that come from california are going to be higher in sugar so mm -hmm. that's why we're opting for this burgundian style of Chardonnay, which is considered Chablis. And so this is going to be very high in minerality. It's going to give you some fruit, but again, it's going to have some lemon and lime zest to give you a little bit more complexity as opposed to the extremely light Pinot, Pinot Grigio. I remember as a kid, Chablis was always kind of, you know, the, the lower discounted wine. I don't know why that sticks in my head because as an adult, I tried it and it's wonderful. Yeah, Chablis, I would say, uh, to be honest, the opposite. Is Chablis opposite? is really something more of a, a higher end. People really like to reach for Chablis when they're interested in a higher grade type of uh, Chardonnay. Okay. Yeah. I just remember Chablis I from remember the Chablis. midnight in yes. the Garden of Good and Evil. Oh, awesome. <laughs> remember the Chardonnay with Chablis? Yeah. I was like, that's what I know Chablis from. Yeah, but that's okay. what Chablis would be. All right, so, so I'm more reds. familiar with the reds. Yes, okay? me too. And so reds are really going to focus on a lot of the heart health the mineral, minerality and antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this is a Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is going to be one of the healthiest red wines that you can consume because it's highest in antioxidants. So uh -huh. can I nerd out with you guys yeah, for a little yes, bit? Please, so go ahead. They have a, the, the chemical in it is called a Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. You helped me out a lot there. And so this is going to really provide the antioxidants. It's going to help the heart mm -hmm. really pump out the blood that we need to go uh, through our, our, our bodies to make it really, really focus on our health. Okay. And this is the... This, this is the, Portlandia. One of my favorites is going to have a lot of of great flavors for raspberry to strawberry to earth. It's just a really, really good option for that. Do so they use more skins in this wine? Is that why there's more reserve You know what, it's really, there? it's really interesting. No, the Pinot, the Pinot Noir is the thinnest skin, uh, the thinner out of Ooh. the grapes, but it still has the highest antioxidant in it. Interesting. Oh, okay. So that's okay. why I wanted to showcase it for you today. Okay, yeah, I remember yeah. my uncle, my grandfather declaring, we're going to start drinking more red wine with dinner because it's more healthy for you. Exactly. Okay. And a lot of physicians would recommend it as well. Again, in moderation, yeah, because okay. uh, red wine will have a sugar content, but it does have that antioxidant that we really need. What, yeah. what, what's moderation? One glass? Like two to three oh. a week, I think. Uh, well, I, I, I would even uh, dare to say uh, two a day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I like you, William, my friend. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now we have a Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon from Rootstock. This is Napa Valley, but Cab, is, they're going to have a thicker skin, so you're okay. going to get some high antioxidants with this as well. I love this Rootstock because it's grown in a high elevation within California, mm. and so that's going to give it some of the cooler climate that we need to just really pump out the antioxidants and, and uh, keep high acid. Yeah, and keep yeah. Okay, low. so well, why do people put sugar in wine if it's not so good for you? It tastes, it tastes <laughs> really good. People like sweet wine. Yeah. So, but I would not 
recommend uh, that if you are on a health journey. <laughs> Sorry, I went down the pipe. I'm the bread earlier today. I'm having problems oh, with it. Oh, I'm good. Oh, okay, you okay? Okay. Continue. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No Continue. Worries. Okay. So now we have a Malbec. Yes. Yeah, so the Malbec is going to be one of the thicker skin red wine grape varietals. And again, the thicker the skin, that we're going to have the antioxidants that we're really, really going to need. So this is the Tapiz, and this is from the Yucca Valley of Argentina. Yeah. And this is really going to pack a great punch as far as boldness is concerned. But again, health focus. Okay. Don't all Malbecs come from Argentina? I feel no, like? but the the main ones do. It's a really great okay. appellation for that. So mm. uh, Malbec is grown throughout the world, but the majority of them that people really grab or even understand is going to be from Argentina. Oh, okay. This is why we see some of the nicer wines from the European nations, because they have better topography, right? Yes. And, and, and ocean water. Absolutely. And so proximity to water is yeah. really important. Elevation is really important. And the winemaker itself. But I really focus on wines that are not mass produced, no chemicals, no added salt fights and things of that nature. And that's really the key. No matter what the varietal is, it has to be something that is made properly. Where, can you find, oh, sorry, yeah, okay. where on the bottle do you look for that information? Yeah, that's that's right the confused. issue. The wine industry, they do not have to disclose that. So, okay. you, need, um, so you, you can actually hire someone like myself <laughs> or uh, go to a boutique wine, uh, uh, wine store that really can uh, have someone that discusses it with you. Or, okay. I mean, we are in a world of our smartphones. You can just uh, take a picture of the wine and do the study right in the store. Okay. okay. Yep. Good to know. Good to well, know. See, thanks for the education. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely Two glasses of wine yeah. <laughs> Red. 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 All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. My William pleasure. information. Cuvee Concierge.com. Sounds so fabulous. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it.